Hi, this is Rian from the Must Be Noob. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Grip Policy Preferences to automatically map a network drive for your domain users. This is a great way to ensure that your users always have access to the resources they need without any extra configuration on their part. Ensure that you have created a shared folder on your file server that you want to map to client computers using Grip Policy. If you are unsure how to create a shared folder, take a look at my video on setting up a shared folder on Windows Server 2025. A link to the video can be found in the description. Let's begin by opening the Group Policy Management Console. Open the Run menu, type gpmc.msc and press Enter to launch the Group Policy Management Console. In the Group Policy Management window, you will be able to create or edit GPUs for your domain. Next, we need to create a new GPU to configure the network drive mapping. Right-click on the Group Policy Objects folder and select New. Name your GPU something descriptive like Map Network Drives and click OK. The Group Policy object has been created successfully. Now that we have created the GPU, let's configure it to map the network drive. Right-click on the newly created GPU and select Edit. This will open the Group Policy Management Editor where we will define the settings for the network drive. In the Group Policy Management Editor, expand the User Configuration section, then go to Preferences, Windows Settings and then click on Drive Maps. Here, right-click on Drive Maps, select New and then choose Map Drive. In the new Map Drive Properties window, you will need to configure a few key settings. Let's go through them one by one. In the Location field, enter the full path to the network share you want to map. For example, let's map the shared folder double slash dc01 slash shared docs. Next, choose the drive letter you want to assign. For example, you can select this radio button to use the first available drive letter or you can use the specific drive letter from this drop down menu. For example, we'll use drive letter Z. Now under action, choose create. This will create the drive mapping on the user's computer. You can also configure additional settings like reconnecting the drive at logon or hiding the drive from the user's view. For this example, we will leave the default options. Once everything looks good, click OK to save your changes. Close the Group Policy Management Editor. With the GPO configured, the next step is to link it to the correct OU where your users are located. In our example, Sales Users are located under the OU Sales Department. Right-click on Sales Department OU and choose Link an Existing GPO. From the list, select Map Network Drive GPO you just created and click OK. Now, let's test the policy on Windows 11 Client Computer. After the GPO is applied, the network drive should be mapped automatically. Go to Windows 11 Client Computer. Open File Explorer. Click on this PC and check if any map drive already exists. Currently, there are no network drives mapped on this Windows 11 computer. Open the Run menu, type CMD and press Enter to open the command prompt. Now type command GP updates less force and then press Enter. This command forces an immediate update of group policy settings. Once the policy has been applied successfully, you can verify the changes on your client machine. The network drive should be available in File Explorer. Let's check it. As you can see, the Z drive is mapped to the shared folder and the user didn't need to do anything. This was all done through Group Policy Preferences. And that's how you can use Group Policy Preferences to map network drives for your users. It's a quick and efficient way to ensure your users always have access to the right resources without having to manually configure each machine. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tips and tutorials on Windows Server and Active Directory Management. Stay safe and see you in the next tutorial.